Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Good evening. I mean, uh, 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 those who don't understand, you know, I know what you're saying right now. You're saying, grabbing lobster, shut the fuck up, and let's get on to that big fucking news, because it's, it's some big fucking news, folks. The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Remember, folks, if you're not watching this on the official 2018 Grampy Lobster channel, you're getting played. Here's to good friends. There he goes. Tonight is kind of special. Hey, we almost gave up and sent out for peace. Sorry. All I could get were lobsters and low and brown. All I could get were lobsters and low and brown. <laughs> it's the last party of the summer. I figured I'd shoot the words. <laughs> when you want the taste of a truly great beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Well, like the song says, here's to good friends. <laughs> Uh, well, folks, we hate to run, but Carl and myself are, are editing the things. Well, good. Go make a video, you old bastard. Good grief. Well just want to make people aware. Uh, this is kind of going to be a test, too, if, if people actually do find this channel. Um, I want people to know that there are people actively out there dropping docs on people, uh, attempting to get information and disseminate information in ways that are not only not couth, uncouth ways, but also illegal ways. So, I want it crystal clear, 100%, that I or Chani or anybody in this household will man, never engage in doxing of any kind. Ooh, that's a good lemonade. Oh, hello, folks. Grampy Lobster here. Welcome to the Grampy Lobster Show. Right? We do it all here. We know it all. We say it all. So sit back, relax. Enjoy the show. I'll cut your fucking nose off. The target in his head. And every broken man finds his idle hands. Grasping at tomorrow's promised land. Uh, if he gets a little momentum going, going I don't know where he's going, but he might get down the street. Where is he going? Where's he going? Nowhere. <laughs> where you going, buddy? Nowhere. <laughs> Let me catch any of you guys subbing to this Rans campaign. Guy's been impersonating me and going into hangouts and making me look bad for months. Does your daughter know that, Charlie? What does your daughter think about that, Charlie? Well, that's not what your mum said last night, Campbell. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, um, Rampy Lobster's in the process of making a video, just in case you guys didn't know about it. Hey, Stinky. Hey, Stinky. Somebody tell me who is Stinky. Who is Stinky? 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 Immediately left that part out, didn't you, Charlie? <clears throat> That's right. That was the big one. But yeah, Grampy Lobster, you're next. I got a fort with your name on it. With a stab in the eye, you fucking prick. I hate you. I hope you fucking die. Piece of shit. 
Kind of good sis. Hey, grab your lobster. I know this guy, he's from... This will be a little demonstration of that. Listen, listen up. That was my skull! I'm so Stand in the eye, you fucking prick, I hate you. I hope you fucking die. Piece of shit. But, uh, yeah, the whole idea about nipples, you know. Um, uh, I've always wondered why Adam and Eve were pregnant. Because they didn't come like from the I don't know. It just, it just it, it's something that I think about a lot. You know? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'll cut your fucking nose off. Because I've been thinking that all this thinking. Hey, stinky. Forget about it. Oh, good morning, everybody. I gotta keep it down because I don't want to wake up the clan. You know, the people that don't live with me. I found this guy's uh, station and checked it out this morning, Grampy Lobster. I'm going to put uh, a link to one of his videos in the description. Go over and check him out. He's got some funny shit. You all have a nice day now, yeah? Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello folks, Grampy Lobster here. Welcome to the Grampy Lobster Show, right? We do it all here. We know it all, we say it all. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'll cut your fucking nose off. Howdy folks. This is your absolutely friendly neighborhood, Avocado. And I just want you to know that I love you. But there happens to be something I have to address to the individuals right now, and that's just that. Well, I want you to know that I am deeply employed. I have a job. I have a job already. You fucking morons are saying that I'm not employed and I'm not employed. Right, Do you get that? I have a job already. And if you think that I would tell one of you psycho idiot assholes where I work, and it's not Uber. So stop calling Uber and trying to get me fired. Because I don't work at Uber. I got a job somewhere. Do you understand that? I'm employed already. Now the question is, am I making much money? No. Am I still in a way? Am I, am I in trouble with bills and, 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 and destroyed credit and, and over overdrawn bank accounts? And, 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 and credit cards that are completely strung out and done? That's still the case. I'm making a little money to do something and pay for certain things that are necessities like the fucking internet to make money on it. To talk to you fucking losers every day. And my cell phone. But other than that, folks, I am fucking broke as it is. But I have a job. So shut your fucking mouth, idiot. Oh, he gets a little momentum going. going. I don't know where he's going, but it might get down the street. Where's he going? Nowhere. <laughs> Where you going, buddy? Nowhere. <laughs> if you're gonna go on the hunt, you gotta be able to run with the big boys. If he can't run with the big boys, he should get out. He shouldn't come out here. This would entail the last time I was told, hey, I got a surprise for you. Uh, sorry, I flipped his penis out. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Wow. So you thought you were talking to a 14-year-old girl, correct? Yes, but at the same okay, time... Okay, hold on. Let me to... finish. Let me finish. Picture that. He had sent pictures but to here's two other people. 
That's Trav, it. I'm trying to get you, you to. You've already. Yo, I, listen, I appreciate I that you admitted that you set your dick to, Jen, to two Jen. other kids before me. Jen. So I appreciate that you did admit that. That's some accountability. Now we know um, out of your own time. mouth that there have been at least three to four children that you've sent your dick to so, in the last so, week. So what? Uh, so, uh, so what? Are you trying to set me up to go to jail? Is that okay? Do you, you think it's ethical to send your penis to children? Do no, and I apologize for that, all right? I made up for that. I wrote that wrong, all right? You're going to love this story. It just gets crazier and crazier. Oh, so shit. so we go I again. catfished him. The, the first time I actually, the first time I didn't catfish him, I came as myself, right? <laughs> I showed up as me. <laughs> and we got into a relationship. Uh, well, the first thing that I called him out live and I was like, Cyrax, I'm in love with you. And he's like, I'm taken. And I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting this guy to reject me. But okay, I mean. It happens, right? He called me back like 40 minutes later and he's like, you know what? Actually, my, my fiance turned out to be a dude. <laughs> Yikes. So I'd like to give us a shot. <laughs> okay. You went with it? All right. So, what, yeah. So, yeah. So we, we went with it. Well, we gave it a shot. And uh, so within an hour of um, conversating with him, he started sending me unsolicited pictures of his weird dick. Okay. <laughs> I have something to speak on. And let me tell you, it's not very pretty. Asshole reports. More commonly known as Kate Peters wants to run her mouth about me. Victimize me. Attack me. Ruin my reputation. My family's life. Spread lies about me. Attack my family. All for what? Clout? And yes, Kate, I'm calling you out, bitch. I am calling you the fuck out, you little cowardice bitch. You're a coward, Kate. You know you're a coward. You're doing to me like you did to Turtle Boy. You're doing to me like you did to so many other people and victimizing people like me. And quite honestly, I'm sick of it. Now because of you, I can't even go outside without getting stares because of your fucking ass. Never come back in your no fucking more, and y'all don't ask me for a damn thing more. Keep my hat on. Don't get your damn hat. I'll take it back. I'm get my motherfucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> He can't run with the big boys. He said, get out. He shouldn't come out here. Last time I was in San Francisco, I went downtown looking for a woman. You know what I mean? I wanted a woman. And if y'all think this is a laughing matter, it's not. Kate, why don't we talk about your kids? Let's talk about your kids for a minute and how you lost them. Let's talk about how you lost them to doing shit like this. Let's talk about how you went to jail for drug abuse. Let's talk about how you go after people like me. See, bitch, the difference between me and Turtle Boy is this. He was a pedophile. I'm not. I know I'm not going on that bitch's panel. But I am gonna say this, Kate. You're nothing more than a piece of shit. You're a sorry excuse for a human being. You're a fucking deadbeat mother that doesn't deserve her fucking kids. Hell, to be honest with you. What the hell did you put me through? I was straight up on it. I'd rather you just fucking kill over and die right now. Just all the fucking hell you put me through. I don't deserve this shit, Caitlin. I really don't. You think that I'm gonna go to jail? Bitch, try again. 
The people here, they know who I am. They're on my side. Trust me, my neighbors know who I am. They know me, they know that they know and they're very well aware of what's going on, bitch. They're very well aware. And trust me, they're not too happy with your ass. They are not happy with you at all. Okay, like I said, you can continue to do this shit all you want. All you're doing is making it to where I can get you for fucking slander. I can seriously get you for slander if you don't shut the fuck up and leave me alone, bitch. You just want to ruin my life because you're a self-centered little bitch that's spoiled. You're a spoiled fucking brat who, quite honestly, should have been bitch slapped by mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy should, mommy and daddy should have taught you better, little girl. Didn't mommy and daddy ever teach you to not do shit like this? Didn't they teach you right from wrong? Didn't they teach you to not do things like this to people? Obviously not. Because if I was your mommy and daddy and I saw you doing that shit, bitch, I'd fucking backhand your ass. That ain't no joke. If I caught you doing this shit, i fucking bitch slap the living shit out of you. Because no one deserves what you're putting me through. No one deserves this shit. I don't deserve this. My family doesn't deserve this shit. You fucking egotistical, self-centered piece of fucking shit. See, if I was going to go to jail, I would have been in jail a long time ago, bitch. A long time ago. So you can run your mouth all you want, bitch. But at the end of the day, you keep this up and I will get you for slander. I will come after you and your family for slander. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're slandering my name like a coward. You're a bitch and a coward. You don't deserve those subs. You don't deserve anything but to be behind bars. Like I said, I got off with a fucking warning. I got off with a goddamn warning from the cops to not do that shit again. Alright, they could have taken me to jail. You're right, they could have. But guess what? I got off with a warning. You wanna know what she's lying about? The fact that I'm a fucking pedophile. Just because I made one mistake, one mistake. Just because I made one simple mistake and I got warned by the cops, that does not make me a pedophile. I made one mistake, and all of a sudden, everybody's calling me a pedophile. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. I deserve to live my life in peace. Hey, Kate, you wonder why I'm always on the edge of suicide? You wonder why I always think about killing myself? Well, gee, you're the reason. You're the reason why I've attempted suicide so many times over. You're the reason why I almost killed myself several times on yours and Marty's live streams. You're the reason. You think I want to die? You think I want to end my life? No. But you pushed me to that point. You pushed me to the edge of suicide. You make me want to end my life. Kate, you are a worthless piece of shit. No one likes you. You're a piece of shit. A bitch. A troll. A bully. And I'm tired of being attacked. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being attacked! I don't deserve it. I don't deserve what you put me through. I don't deserve this hell. I don't deserve any of this. I don't understand why you can't just leave me alone. I don't get it. Why can't you just leave me the fuck alone?
and you wonder why I'm always on the edge every fucking day and every night, okay? It's because of you. You put me there. You make me want to end my life. You make me want to die. You ruined my life. You did this shit to me. I don't deserve this. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why can't you just leave me alone? Why can't you leave me alone, Kate? Why can't you just go and fucking die? Why can't you leave me alone? I've done nothing to you. You attack my family, attempt to assassinate me. Attempt to kill me, attempt to have me arrested, and now you're trying to drive me out of town? Are you kidding me? You're the reason I am the way I am, Kate. You're the reason I'm always depressed. You're the reason I'm always on the edge. You're the reason I want to die. You're the reason that I've become this monster. You made me this monster. You made me this way. You made me the way that I am. Nobody else. And you wonder, you wonder why I want to come after you and your family. You wonder why. You wonder why I want to come after you so bad and put you behind the bars and take your kids away from you and have them put in fucking foster care. It's because you made me this way, bitch. You did this. I just wish you understood how fucked up in the head you really are. All I want to do is live my life in peace, but I can't even do that. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of not being able to live my life in peace. I'm sick of my family being threatened. I'm sick of you. I don't understand why you can't just leave me alone. I don't deserve this. I don't. Why can't you just leave me alone? Leave me alone, Kate. Go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And you wonder why I want to put the gun to my head. You wonder why I want to put a knife to my neck. It's all because of you, Kate. You made me this way. You did this to me. You did this to me. You did this to me. You made me this way. Why can't you just leave me alone, Kate? Why can't you just leave me alone? 
leave me alone! I promise you, you will end up in a fucking body bag with a bullet in your fucking head. I can promise you that, motherfucker. You will end up in the fucking graveyard with a bullet in your goddamn head. I'm done playing these fucking games. This is not a death threat, this is a fucking warning. I'm fucking killing your ass. I'm coming after your ass. And I will hunt you down and kill you. about all those cows trampling the lobsters in May. That was me. But the cow diaper on, and the nice oh, cuddly on my plate. That's right, that was a big one. But yeah, Grampy Lobster, you're next. I got a fork with your name on it. Just stand in the eye, you fucking prick. I hate you. I hope you fucking die. Piece of shit. Uh, uh. <laughs> Somebody tell me who is folks, if you're not watching this on the official 2018 Grampy Log channel, you're getting played. just by looking how moist and delicious it is. How much your cat will love it. Fancy feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. Stab you in the eye, you fucking prick. I hate you. I hope you fucking die. Piece of shit. <laughs> And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.